What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today is July the 26th. I want to give you a quick pre-market update over some of the hot movers and what big money is doing on this fun Friday morning. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So the dreaded PCE just came out and the core came in a little bit hotter than anticipated. So the forecast was 2.5 and the actual is 2.6. On a month over month, it came in line flat. Although what you do see See is a lot of articles uh, starting to come out saying that they're coming in line that's not necessarily the case that came in a little bit hotter of course you could look at uh, the price index the true price index but that's not what the feds look at they look at the core so in reality it wasn't necessarily the best data and this is why the future did go down a little bit uh, based off of this right here um, the recent data hasn't really changed this right now so for the september 18th meeting there still is a 8.9 percent likelihood of a 25 basis point cut and a 10.2 for a 50 basis point cut so i think in reality the data wasn't all that great um so in my opinion and based on uh, past experience the futures kind of go up and then as soon as the market does open, this is where big entities do really cause a pullback because like I said, I think a lot of people and articles are kind of pushing the false narrative that it was good, whereas it wasn't necessarily all that great. So that's just my own opinion. I could be very much wrong about that though. Fear and greed index right now is at 42, so under the fear category, so meaning people's appetite for risk isn't necessarily Fully there a lot of the stocks I'm going to be talking on are getting a abnormal amount of buying and kind of pushing higher so kind of take that with a grain of salt starting off with SoFi it is up 2.34 percent no actual news no SEC filings nothing like that shorts are back at that 17 percent range so 17.06 percent of the free floats being shorted that works out to be 177.06 million shares so when it comes down to SoFi, the real kind of resistance level that it's had all week was 750, especially with today being Friday, anticipate that to be very, very active. And actually what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick overview of that. So this is a SoundHound. You guys don't need to see SoundHound. But pulling up SoFi, looking at the open interest, right now at that 750 strike price, there's 29,000 in open interest. So once again, there's going to be a little bit more of a battle at 750. Market makers and shorts will want to ensure that SoFi does not close above 750. So kind of just stay tuned for that. So yeah, aside from all that though, SoFi seems to be moving at least in the right direction. You do have this company right here, Wintree Therapeutics. I've never seen a company do this, so I got to give them a round of applause. Uh, their stock price has been crap over this last year down 87.02 percent but it is up 116.72 percent because of this right here the sec filing so no official news but for sec filings they did submit this withdrawal of registration statement so in this document they actually state that they want to kind of cancel all of their previous S1s, so meaning dilution, because they do not intend to pursue at this time the public offering, which blah, blah, blah. I, again, I've never seen a company do that, so i got to give them a round of applause. Is it a reason to buy this company because of this? Um, I would say no. Um, it would have been beneficial if you bought yesterday, but nobody could have obviously anticipated this news to come out. So all in all, I think that there might be more of a kind of consolidation rather than a push higher because of this news, but that's just my own opinion, of course. And right now, looking over here, it's uh, not that heavily shorted somewhat, so 9.65%. And in case you are curious, this is what the company does right here. So Biotech 20 Employees, founded in 92 out of warranting pa so moving on to the next stock so this one was kind of interesting so they did miss horrifically on their earnings dexcom ticker dxcm very good market cap uh, so 43 billion and right now the short interest is about 2.57 percent so i'm not really going to bring that up but all in all, if you're looking at trading this company with it as 66 and change, it is trading between this S3 and this S2. So 72 will be the next strong resistance slash target. You could tell it did want to break higher to that point. So in my opinion, 
if there is a kind of a value run that does happen today, it will orient itself towards this S2. This S3 won't be touched whatsoever today, but at least in my opinion, who knows what could happen. But this S2, I do feel is going to gravitate towards that. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that. This company very much, I think the next big momentum play. So ticker SERV, it is up 6.27%. And basically they haven't put out any news today. They put out this yesterday in the morning, but this is literally goes hand in hand with this. So this is why it's kind of very inconsistent. So even though people's appetite for risk isn't really going up, you see a ton of people getting into this and big money as well. And like I've kind of signaled in the past, the whole reason why this did get so popular is because of this 13G that came out on July the 18th. So yeah, it's a interesting play over the last five days, up 3% over the last one month of 555%. And so in theory, yes, this could go up a little bit more. It is starting to be shorted, heavily shorted. So currently 22.57% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 3.43 million. And as of right now, with it at $12.41, next key resistance is going to be 1301. So kind of just watch for that. You never know that could be touched today. And then if it does break above that, then this is where the 30s could be somewhat realistic. And finally, last stock I want to bring up is Snapchat. It is getting a very much abnormal amount of volume. And I, in all honesty, hate this company. I've shorted it many times leading into the earnings. I made a lot of money and I've bought a lot of puts going into the earnings. Uh, they do have earnings coming up. It looks like um, the first. But still, as of right now, the only reason why they are up is because of several form fours and just piggybacking off of the broader market. That's basically it. A lot of those form fours, it wasn't even insiders buying. It was just them being awarded shares and all directors. So nothing really crazy. Again, I don't really like this company all that much. 13.69% or $13.69. It is trading between this S3 and this S2. So 1374 is going to be the next wrong resistance slash target. And then 1291, which I don't anticipate to kind of come today, but that's going to be the next wrong support. So let me know your thoughts on these companies. Is there anything else on your watch list? Like I said, in my opinion and based on past experience of kind of data such as this, I do feel that there will be a little bit of volatility first thing as kind of entities, larger entities do trade based off of this information, the core PC, which isn't necessarily the best. A lot of articles that you're seeing is that coming in line and that's with the price index. So all in all, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And one final thing, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. This is a kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.